Bergal is where the Cripple Creek Corner Dance Studio started. WWAY's Helen Holt has a story about what dance is so popular in this Pender County town. At the corner of Walker and Wilmington Streets is the Cripple Creek Corner Dance Studio. Quiet at first glance, but this is what you'll find inside. Mondays are the loudest days, filled with folks young and old, men and women, clogging. I've really never not been in dance. Jason Acock says he was born into dancing. When I was growing up, we actually lived here in the dance studio. Uh, seriously. <laughs> His parents, Nancy and Louis Acock, started the studio back in 1982, offering a variety of classes, but clogging has always been the most popular choice. Irish step dance, tap, um, African American dancing, Native American dancing, all kind of mixed together as a melting pot of dance in order to make what, what has become American clogging. From beginners to national champions, this studio is where it all began. 17-year-old Joseph Lee has been clogging since he was three years old. I love getting to see the little kids in the crowds and stuff like that where I go and they are, oh my gosh, that's so cool. I want to be a clogger one day. I love um, showing what I do to people. Clogging is a dance that is done in time with the music to the downbeat, usually with the heel keeping rhythm. A lot of hard work, um, you know, a lot of physical discipline, trying to get, learn the moves, learning the timing, learning, you know, how it should sound, how it should look, the proper techniques, but all of it really worth it. Joseph is a junior at Harold's Christian Academy with the goal of becoming a missionary after high school. I want to carry clogging with me as I go, um, you know, to anyone and anyone who just loves art, loves dancing. Um, it's a piece of my home being from North Carolina. It's a piece of me that I grew up into. You know, it's the stage folk dance, and it's just kind of part of the rich culture, and I want to share that with others. Nine-year-old Riley Drew Brooks has been clogging since she was four and is a part of the competition team. I like the steps and the rhythm, because I like, I like to hear the beat of the clogging and stuff, it's really, Amazing. While Riley is still in her early stage, Joseph says keep it up. Just keep with it. Stay in it, not for the, the competitions and for the awards, but stay in it to just make people smile. This old building has always been occupied with lots of sounds, even once a car dealership. When my parents started the studio, it was it was not just we it was not just used as a dance studio. We had, there were always there were there were youth dances, there were community events held here. A gathering place for dance lovers alike. We still do partner dances and, and square dances that that helps you get to know each other because you can, you know, talk to people while you're dancing. And it's a it's a great sort of um, way to bring the community together. Four walls containing a lot of history within them, including the past and the future of the Cripple Creek Cloggers. Clogging has always been kind of a staple in the Burgall community. In Pender County, Helen Holt, WWAY News Channel 3. The students are currently practicing for a recital that will be held later this month, along with the Pender County Spring Festival, which is May 2nd. More on the festival coming up when we're joined by a special guest.